All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how and where to find your API keys. Now, I just created this one from scratch, so I didn't re reveal any of my API keys. Um, but if you just go on a Chrome browser or go on a browser, log into Airtable, don't use the desktop app, it'll just refer you to a browser either way. But what you wanna do is you want to go to your browser and you will come up here to your account and you will come to account right here and then you will scroll down and you will see api and it should say generate api key right here if you don't have anything there or you have something else there um, i will make sure to update the video just shoot me a message in the slack or shoot me a message uh, on youtube but you should just be able to click this button right here and generate your api key and then copy that API key and attach your account in Zapier, attach it to your, any of your accounts with any of your other Airtable automations that you want to connect Airtable to. So I won't go click this right now because then it would reveal this API key, but I highly encourage you to just go click generate API key. Again, I'll go through this one last time. So if you're in your account's homepage, you should see something like this. Just come up here, click on your little profile picture, click account and then scroll down and click generate API key. And so then you will be able to copy that API, API key, paste it in Zapier, paste it wherever you need to. Make sure you do not share it because if you share it, then people will be able to connect their Zapier or whatever to your account and you don't want that. So protect your API key. Don't be like posting it in Airtable forums or anything. Just keep it in here and that will keep it safe enough. So copy and paste it if you need to put it into Zapier, but don't be sharing it elsewhere. Uh, that's why I'm not sharing mine on here, even though I don't even use this account. I might want to someday, but just come in here, generate your API key and paste it wherever you want. So, all right, so now you should have your API key. In the last video, I showed you all how to go through your account and find your API key. And then what you should see is you should see something like this. You should see this page and your API key will be right here. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to come right here, click in here, copy it, and then I'll show you what to do next. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy mine and then I'll cut out that part of the video. So now I've copied mine and what I'm gonna go do is I'm going to come to my Zapier account. And this is gonna be how to connect it with Zapier, how to put your API key in Zapier so you can do as many zaps as you want. This is what you have to do for every time you want to connect someone else's workspace with Zapier. Um, but it's very easy to do. What you want to do is you want to, I just created this Zapier account, so there's not going to be anything in it, but you want to come over here to my apps. And then what you want to do is you want to click add connection. And the first thing you're going to come do is you can scroll through here, see if you can find Airtable, but you can just search Airtable will be the easiest way. So just search Airtable and it should pop up with something like this. So it loaded two of them for me. What you want to do is you just want to come in here and paste your API key right here. So it should be in your clipboard, technically. Uh, you, when you copied it in Airtable, it should still be copied on your computer. So now you can just go ahead and, and paste it right here. So I'll paste mine and then click yes, continue. So now I click, I pasted mine, click yes, continue, and it showed me this. So now what you can do is you can use Airtable in Zaps. You can use some of these custom views if you have the pro plan that we talked about in the first module, but now you can build out everything you need in your Airtable with Zapier with to really make it all work really nice. So whenever you get prompted to add your API key in there somewhere, just go watch the previous video on how to copy your API key. But again, to just add it, you just go to my apps and then add a connection and then find whichever app. So for us, it was Airtable and you can just paste it in there. So just paste your API key right here and click yes, continue and you'll be golden. So if you have any questions, ping me in Slack, but we'll see you in the next one again.